So if you do any decent Google search and have a physics background, you'll know that the longest straw you can theoretically drink out of is 34 feet. I even did a video that confirmed this, and sure enough, if you try to go higher than about 34 feet, then the water literally boils and turns to water vapor, which breaks the vacuum seal at the end that you're sucking on, and it doesn't allow you to keep sucking up the water. So case closed, 34 feet, around 10.3 meters, that's the highest you could ever expect to drink from a long straw. But what if your glass was over 34 feet above you? Could you suck the water up and over the glass and into your mouth from below? So this is 60 feet of tubing and around 45 feet of height above me. Here we go. <laughs> I can't stop sucking it. Okay, so look at this pressure coming out of it. So it was not only possible to drink from below, but it shot out of the straw with high pressure. In fact, the pressure at the bottom of that tube connected to the small cup of water has the same pressure as being at the bottom of a 50 foot deep lake. With pressure, it doesn't matter how wide your water is, it's only how deep it goes below the surface. So when your straw is well below your open container of liquid, it's very easy to suck it out. You just have to get it up and over the edge, and then after that, gravity just takes over and pours the liquid out. The pressure increases around 0.4 PSI per foot. So that may have been an easy one. Of course you can suck through a straw when your water source is above you because it just siphons it out and then gravity takes over and just pours it out. But here's another one. So now what would happen if I take this straw at the bottom and bring it all the way back up the top, 45 feet high? Well, let's see what happens. Okay, this is 100 foot U-shaped straw. Here we go. Drinking out of a 100 foot straw. So even though it's going down 45 feet and has to come up another 45 feet on its own, above the theoretical limit that it would be if the glass were at the bottom there, but it can come all the way back up because the pressure is high at the bottom pushing it back up. So it's relatively effortless to suck out of the straw like this, other than the friction of the tube. Notice that if I get it lower than this water height, it actually will come out on its own. So obviously the reason this is working is because if you take out the in-between of the straw, all that's happening is I'm sucking from a straw that's equivalent of this long. So just a little bit above the surface of the water. So there's no real theoretical limit to how long your straw can be or how tall it can be. The theoretical limit is how high above your open container of liquid can your straw be. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it or learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and you can hit the bell so that you get notified when I release my latest videos. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.